Hello everyone, welcome back, Severt is here, coming back with part 8 of What if Deku had Blood Curdle. Now where we last left off, Izuku has been finally found out by All Might, the chief of police and the detective, knowing that he is actually Curdle, the hero killer, or you know, or you can say the second heel hero killer. After that, Izuku, you know, managed to run away with the help of Stain, getting out of the, you know, armed vehicle, and run away. And the next day, they you know, both decided on a plan to scare the living shit out of the heroes by giving a speech in the sport festival. And with the help of Toga, they finally managed to hack into the system, and Izuku gave the ability to Stain to give a speech. After the speech has been given, Stain, Izuku, Toga just run away. And All Might just searching for them. But now we continue with Izuku and, you know, Toga and Stain in the middle of the forest. Toga, for now, doesn't, she doesn't know about the secret place of uh, the hero killer just yet. As, you know, Toga said, that was so good. We did it, Izuku, we did it. As Izuku said, yeah, good job, uh, Toga. As Toga said, thank you. And Stain, that was actually so intimidating. As Stain said, yeah, I trained a little bit on, you know, intimidating people. I, th I think we deserve a rest. Come on, Izuku, let's go back to the hideout. Because after tomorrow, we will gonna go into Hoso City again to kill a couple of heroes. As Izuku said, alright. Well, Toga, see you around. As Toga said, are you, ga are you not gonna show me where your hideout is? As Izuku and Stain at the same time, they said, no. As Toga said, fine, fine, she, all right, I'm just gonna leave. As Izuku and Stain start walking in the forest, Izuku said, Toga, leave the place. As Toga, you know, hiding behind the tree said, I'm not here, you're just uh, imagining things. As Stain said, is she serious? As Izuku said, sometime I don't know if she even taken her life seriously. Toga, I know that you're behind that tree. As Toga said, what tree? You are in the forest. What kind of tree are you talking about? There's like hundreds of trees. As Izuku said, the tree that your voice is coming from. As Toga said, where do you mean? My voice coming from that tree. As she pointed with her hand on another tree. Izuku said, oh, really? As he threw a knife, slashing Toga hand. And after that, he recalled the knife using his magnet, you know, the magnet inside his glove. And after that, he licked the blood, which made Toga fall on, on her facing. I, I can't move. As Izuku said, now, sit down and when we're gonna leave, you should go back to your hideout, alright? As Toga said, oh, come on, are you just gonna leave me here in the middle of the forest? Don't you think that there is a some sort of wolf will gonna eat me? As Izuku said, no one will gonna eat you because you're already disgusting. As Toga said, hey! As Stain said, damn, you're actually getting better on your knives. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. As Izuku said, let's just leave. As Stain said, just take her with us, Izuku. I doesn't see why not letting her know where is our hideout, even after she helped us. I think she deserve it. Come on. As Izuku said, seriously, Stain? As Stain said, oh, come on already. As Izuku said, fine, fine. And after that, Izuku go into, you know, the paralyzed body of Toga. As Toga said, carry me like a princess, Izu. As Izuku said, hell, hell no. As Toga said, oh, come on. As Izuku said, no. As Toga said, pretty please. As Izuku said, no. And after that, they just continue walking while Toga just annoying Izuku. And after that, they finally got into the hideout. When the one today opened the door, Toga jumped out of Izuku hands saying, So this is the, the hideout? You have a lot of knives and a lot of katanas? And what's that laptop? Is the, Do you have a lot of information about heroes there? And who's this notebook for? And Izuku said, wait. 
You weren't paralyzed? As Togo said, well, for most of the ride, no. Uh, in the beginning, I was paralyzed, but after, you know, like five minutes, I start moving again, but I just decided to, you know, to let you carry me into here as Stain chuckles all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Your two are just so perfect to each other. As Izuku said, Stain! N no! As Stain said, oh yeah, you're just refusing the truth. Alright, now you saw the hideout. Are you gonna leave? As Toga said, yep, thank you, Stain. Um, see you around, Izu. As Izuku said, I don't want to see you around. As Toga said, you were gonna see me. As Izuku said, if I saw you, I was just gonna act like I never saw a thing. As Toga just left the place and... Stain just continued chuckling. Izuku said, yeah, yeah, laugh at my miserable life. Look at yourself, you doesn't have even a nose. As Stain said, heh, you have a point. Well, let's take a rest. And after uh, yeah, Stain and Izuku finally take a rest in the hideout, on the next day, Izuku has, you know, already deleted all the numbers of, you know, UA, Kirishima, and all of the others, including his mom to not make the heroes knowing, you know, whereas uh, Stain hideout, he even broke his own phone, throwing it away in the water or something like that. And the next day, Izuku and Stain has get ready to, you know, to go to Hustle City, as Izuku wearing his vigilante outfit, which is looking like... This, if you forgot how it's look like, Izuku and Stain just, you know, jumping on the roofs, killing a couple of unnamed heroes, as, in the, ne in the end, they just sit on the roofs. Izuku taking down his mask and his hoodie jacket, as he just, you know, looking, sitting down on the, tube, on the top of the rooftop, eh, looking at the city eating something, like an apple and uh, an orange juice. As Izuku said, do you want some? As Stain said, no, keep it for yourself. I'm not hungry. As Izuku said, all right. And after that, hey, Izuku and Stain hearing a sound from behind, as they immediately both throw a knife in front of, you know, behind of them. But those knife being immediately tele teleported away into another place. As when they, you know, the portal closed, they see in front of them, a guy that looking like made out of black mist, wearing, you know, a suit with a, a glowing yellow eyes. As the guy said, please, there is no need for violence, Mr. Stain and Mr. Curdle. I'm not here for any harm. As Izuku said, who are you? You know, Izuku has already put his mask back. As, this, you know, Kurigori, of course, said... Well, my name is Kurigiri. I'm just here to ask you to join us, or maybe to meet my boss. As Stain said, we are not interested in anything that you gonna give us. Go away before we kill you. As Kurigiri said, I would ask from you at least to try. And... The, you know, to come and talk with my boss. He quite interested in you and what you've done. What you accomplished with your partner here, Mr. Curdle. You, both of you has done a very, very big actions that a lot of villains couldn't do by themselves. So, I wish at least for you to listen for what we about to say. As Izuku said, we are not interested, but he immediately being interrupted by Stain saying, All right, let's see what you want. As Izuku said, um, really Stain? As Stain said, yeah, let's see what he want. Maybe we can find something useful out of him. As Kurigiri said, very well, please come through the portal. As he opened another portal into the League of Villains hideout. And when the portal, you know, when Izuku and Stain go F through the portal, they see in front of them a guy with a lots of na with a lots of hands on his body and and on his face, sitting 
sitting down, you know, and on the par on the bar, just drinking some juice. As Izuku said, "Who's this?" As the guy said, "Ah, Stain. It's finally nice to meet you." And your sidekick, right? Curdle, I believe your name. As Stain said, and who are you? Are you the boss of this place? As the guy said, yes. You can call me Shigaraki. It's nice to meet you. As he holding his hand without his pinky. As Stain didn't shake his hand. Stain said, Izuku, go sit there. As he, you know, point on one of the couches and the, and the bar, you know, the tables, as Izuku sit down, getting ready to attack at any moment, as Stain just talking with Shigaraki, as Shigaraki said, Well, Stain, we saw what you've done and what you accomplished, and we would like you to join us to the League of Villains, as once Izuku hearing that name, he immediately throw a knife into Kirigiri, you know, arm and, and recall that knife to paralyze, you know, Kirigiri. And after that, he said, put him on the ground, Stain! As Stain immediately, you know, listening to Izuku because this is his partner. He will gonna, be, you know, make sure that he trust him. As Shigaraki said, what's wrong, Stain? Stop this! Gurigiri, teleport those two away from here. As Gurigiri said, oh, I can't, Shigaraki. That kid quirk. I can't move. As Shigaraki said, what? You can't move? This is not fair. Why are you all of a sudden attacked me? As Stain said, why did you Why did you tell me to attack Izuku? As Izuku said, this, those are the League of Villains. They are the ones that attacked in the USJ. And there is another one here, I'm sure of it. As after that, well, one of you know, the back door of the bar opened up, revealing a, a brown haired girl wearing a, a, a yellow and a black suit. As she said, Shigaraki, we are. As she's looking in front of her, she see Shigaraki on the ground with a stain on top of him, putting a knife into his throat and one in his arm, as she immediately getting ready to use her quirk, but after that she getting slash on her hand and Izuku just paralyzed her. As Izuku said, well, nice to meet you again, Aravity. As Aravity said, oh, you again, that bloodsucker, what do you want? And what do you do here with Stain? As Shigaraki said, Stain, how about you stop this? We just want to talk, as Stain said, then talk already, I'm not in the mood, especially when your girl there has attacked my partner in the USJ, as Shigaraki said, wait, Aravity, is that the boy that you talked about, as she said, yeah, he's the one that working with Stain. I doesn't know what's his weird quirk, he's just able to paralyze anyone. As Kir you know, Shigaraki said, Oh, so that's why you're keeping this kid with you. Such a helpful quirk to your work, huh, Shig huh? Stain? As Stain said, Just shut up and tell me what you want. As Shigaraki put his hand on Stain uh, knife saying, First of all, get your knife out of my shoulder, as he immediately decaying the knife. Shigaraki, you know, Kirg, I mean, Stain jumped back a little bit, as Izuku keep, keeping a, a knife into, you know, Kirigiri to make sure that he will not gonna teleport anyone away. As Stain said, so, are you gonna speak? As Shigaraki said, fine. If you want it the hard, w the hard way. As Shigaraki starts explaining about his ideas and how he wants to kill All Might and destroy the symbol of peace. As Izuku quite, you know, agreeing on the part of killing All Might, but Stain said, I'm rejecting your offer. I'm not gonna kill All Might. 
our ideas are clashed together. We are not on the same page. But there is one thing that we all agreed on. That this society need to be changed. As Shigaraki said, well, how about we just put our, you know, ideas on the side and start working together. What do you say about this? Stain, as Stain said, all right, throw you, throw us back into, <clears throat> into Hoso City. We still have a work to do there. Izuku, let's go. As Izuku leave, you know, Aravity or, you know, Kurigori and go back by the side of Stain. As, you know, Stain has already finally got hold of himself and start walking again. Or, you know, moving back. As he immediately opened a portal for Stain and Izuku. And Stain said, that was just a test from me, Shigaraki, to see how much you are strong. People real powers come when they are facing death. So, see you soon. As Stain go, go through the portal and Izuku was about to go behind of him, but Shigaraki immediately stopping him, telling him, Why are you still working with that asshole? You can have a very great place in the League of Villains, you know, with the quirk like yours, the ability to paralyze someone. Even forever, I heard what's happened with the Ingenium guy, and I'm quite interested. What do you say, Curdal? As Aravity said, yeah, he would be su such a great help to us, and maybe even me and you can spar from time to time. As Izuku said, alright, let me tell you this one thing, fuck off. As he just go th through the portal and Shigaraki starts scratching his neck saying, Ah, Karagari, I doesn't want you to get me another people like those idiots again, understand? As Karagari said, but Shigaraki, his help will be so useful to us. And we doesn't quite know what the stain quirk is, but that kid, his alone quirk is so powerful. As... A voice being heard from the television saying, He's right, Tomura. You should actually think about getting him into your side. Even if it's not Stain, maybe that kid. One of them will be so useful to us. As Shigaraki said, Master, are you sure about this? They are annoying and they try to attack me. As, uh, you know, all for one said, But... Gravity has already attacked the boy in the USJ, so I can understand why he's so def defensive. But for now, keep your keep your you know self calm and think straight, Tomara. As Tomara said, "All right, Master. What? How much numbers do you have now?" As Ulf once said, six in total. The oh, but I will gonna give you three to do whatever you want with them. They are not as strong as that one in the USJ, but they will be useful. As Shigaraki said, thank you, master. I'll make sure to use them so good. As she, he said, Kurigari, gravity, get ready because we are gonna go into Hoso City. As they're getting ready, you know. To go there as Izuku and Stain just sitting on the rooftop after killing another fake hero. As Stain said, So, what do you think about the League of Villains, Izuku? As Izuku said, Bunch of idiots. That's all what I'm thinking about. As you know, Stain said, Are you sure that's all what you think about? He talked about killing All Might. And I know what's your side of story with All Might. As Izuku said, maybe I'm agreeing on that part, but killing All Might will just gonna ruin everything. More villains will gonna come out and more heroes will gonna start, you know, getting scared from going outside there. 
they were just gonna become more fake and corrupted. As Tane is smiling at this, seeing how Izuku is thinking about the society more than his revenge. As Stain said, <laughs> Very good, Izuku. Well, let's go. And after a couple of, you know, kills, the sun starts, you know, to go down and the night start to come up. As after that, Kirigori and, you know, Shigaraki come out through, through another portal with a gravity as... You know, Shigaraki said, Well, what are you gonna do now, Stain? As Stain said, I'm gonna do what I was always doing best. We were gonna do what we always were doing. We were gonna purge through the fake in this city. There's a lots of fakes here, and they all need to be purged. And until the time that the people were gonna start to notice the fake from the true hero, are we will gonna just continue appearing in every city that we will gonna go into as stain jump you know jump into another building with izuku as shigaraki said they are so cocky someone need to make them know their places and stain will not gonna just run away with stabbing me like this a gravity as Ravity said, yes, Shigaraki, as he said, go and, you know, destroy a couple of buildings. Shikuragori, throw the gnomos, as Kuragori do that, and Ravity just throwing some rubbles everywhere. As Izuku and Stain just, you know, in an alleyway killing another hero, which is the same hero that Stain was killing in the enemy. Izuku just, you know, Standing by the side of Stain while Stain is getting rid of the hero. As, you know, the hero said, Damn it, I need more support. But Izuku said, Yeah, that won't help you. I have this device inside my suit that, you know, make any abilities for you heroes to call any support will gonna be so, so broken. So you will not be able to call anyone don't even try it out as stain said now let's take let's get rid of you as he was about to you know to stab the hero and killing him but all of the sudden from the left side someone go to throw a kick at stain face but immediately izuku getting in front of stain and throw a punch at the guy face throwing his helmet off of his head as you know the kid right now on the ground. Izuku seeing in front of him. A same old kid that he saw in the entrance exam. As he said, wait. Aren't you Tania Ida? As Ida said, how do you know my name? You. You have killed. You have hurted my brother. I'm going to destroy you for what you've done. Remember my name. Ingenium is the name of the hero that will gonna take you down. Cardal. As he go at Izuku to throw another kick. Izuku dodging this and slash, you know, Ida by the side of the stomach. He, to paralyze Ida, which make Ida fall on the ground. And after that, Izuku stab him in his right arm with his blade that he, you know, take out of his staff. As he said... Why are you here? Why are you attacking me? As he does it for what you did for my brother. He was a true hero. He was my hero. And because of you, he can't even move his pinky anymore. I'm gonna put an end to your life. Here and now. As Izuku said, before you do that, how about you save that hero there? You are so blinded by your rage and your revenge that you even forget that there is someone need to be saved here and you call yourself a hero how do you think your brother will gonna react when he see, when he saw you right now trying to kill me and forgetting that there is someone that need to be saved huh what he will gonna say about you as you know stain just listening to this he just happy to hear every word that coming out of izuku mouth as Ida said, he was a true hero. Because of you, he can't move his body anymore.
What have you done to him? If you can't stop it, you should stop it now. As Izuku said, well, I can't stop it. And even if I can, I will not. Your brothers deserve what happened to him. And all the fakes deserve what will gonna happen to them in the future. So, I suggest you run away after the paralyzed time done. Because I doesn't, I'm not in the mood to kill kids like you. As Idel said, if you just left, I'm gonna hunt you down. I doesn't care how many days I will gonna have to do. I doesn't care how many times I will gonna run into you. I'm gonna hunt you down in the end. As Izuku said, well then, I, you know, you remember, I cut off your brother left arm, so it's only fair for me to cut off your own right leg, huh? As Izuku, they go into Ida right leg and immediately chop it off of his plates, you know, get, cut off Ida right leg as Ida screams in pain, as Izuku said, now. I'll make sure that you're gonna sit by the side of your brother. As Izuku lick the blood out of the blade, making Ida being paralyzed forever because he already know how to control it right now after training on animals for a couple of, you know, times. As Ida, you know, right now can't move anymore. As Izuku said, now I wish that you were gonna be happy to sit by the side of your brother. As Ida just crying, saying, no, no, you're not serious. No, as Izuku said, let's go, Stain. As Stain immediately killed the other hero. As, you know, they start walking. But after that, Izuku being hit by, you know, on the back of his head. With a, such a strong kick throwing him on the, you know, on a wall. Stain immediately, you know, spin around and throw a couple of knives, but on the person that, you know, kicked Izuku back in his head. But those knives can't even pierce through his skin as he see in front of him. A kid with the red hair and the red eyes. With the lots of red lightning on his body and his body looks like his rock or something sort of that. As Izuku stand up seeing in front of him. Kirishima as Izuku, you know, his mask has already fall, you know, fly out of his mouth as he said Kirishima, as Kirishima has already know about Izuku truth as he said Izuku, why are you doing this? As Izuku said, damn it, you, what are you doing here? Get out of here now! As Kirishima said, like hell, I'm gonna do that. As Ida on the ground saying, no, Kirishima, get out of here because before he. Paralyze you Before he paralyze you forever get out of here as Kirishima said like hell I'm gonna do that Acting when you doesn't need to do saving someone that you know that he will gonna die It's the true meaning of being a hero as you know Stain smiling at this thing <laughs> So you're a true hero, huh? You want to save those people aren't you here for revenge? That's just like your friend here as Kirishima said, of course, no. I'm here to capture you and put an end to your massacre and to capture you, Izuku, and get you back into the right direction. As Izuku, you know, quite angry at this, as he said, I doesn't need any help from you. Now, leave the place! As Izuku start jumping on the walls. Stain is just watching the fight because you, c you can say it's just like a child's fight or something child's play or something like that staying just having fun watching his student doing the all of this talking like a true you know talking like him acting like how he always wish was imagining him he will gonna act in the future fighting like his there is no tomorrow he's just so happy with what he did to izuku and he's so happy with what izuku has been turned into as you know, Izuku go to slash Kirishima. Kirishima having you know his body hardening, his can't you know easily go through his hardening quirk. As you know, Izuku just throwing slashes left and right. Kirishima using full calling, which is you know Kirishima is all my successor. Why am I even hiding it anymore? As you know, Kirishima throwing a punch at Izuku face. Izuku dodging it into the right, and immediately got hold of you know Kirishima hand and flip him on his you know back 
And after that, Izuku was gonna stab Kirishima directly, <clears throat> uh, you know, down his arm, which is a place where Kirishima hardening is not effective. As Kirishima know his weak point, as he immediately know. Using his leg kick Izuku knife out of his hand, as Kirishima said, eh. So, you using my weak point, as Izuku said, eh. I'm thankful for you to tell me about your weak point. If it wasn't for it, I wasn't. No I didn't know how to, you know, to fight you. As Kirishima said, eh, Izuku. As he start jumping on the walls, Izuku doing the same. As they, you know, they just slashing knives into his, you know, Izuku just slashing with his sword while Kirishima just throwing punches. After a couple of minutes, Izuku has managed to, you know, to cut a little bit out of uh, Kirishima down his arm which is able enough to make you know Izuku lick the blood out of his blade and paralyze Kirishima for uh, some time not forever because he see how Kirishima want to save someone which is a, a sign of a true hero Stain asked Izuku saying Izuku are you paralyzed him forever as Izuku said no he's a true hero he deserve another chance he's good to be you know alive as stain said good now let's leave are you gonna leave that fake to live or are you gonna kill him as izuku said i said that i was gonna leave him to live to sit by the side of his brothers and that's what i'm gonna do let's just leave and after that izuku and stain you know turn around to you know walk away but before that happened, an ice being thrown at Izuku while, an, while a fire being thrown at Stain. And after that, both of them were managing to dodge this. As they look in front of them, they see the number two hero Endeavor with his son, Shoto Todoroki. As Endeavor said, hero killer Stain, hero killer Curdle, now give up before I end your career right here, right now. As... This one gonna leave it off guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what do you think about this part, and what do you think will gonna happen in the next part. Well, I have nothing more to say than, Severed was here.